Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. We are staying on top of yet another round of ATM thefts in Northeast Baltimore. This time, though, targeting three liquor stores. This is something, as you know, we have covered for months. The thieves try to steal the money from inside, where most of the time, they just go for the entire machine. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Vizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ-TV. Kelsey Kushner spoke with victims all day today, and one store owner says he actually caught two men carrying the machine out of the store. Well, this spot right here is where that ATM used to be. That is until two men came into this shop and picked it up and carried it out the front door. I spoke with the owner who tells me that he is just one of several liquor stores who were targeted in this area, and that trend is concerning. A few males just sold an ATM machine. Another round of ATM thefts targeting Northeast Baltimore. I thought it was just crazy. I mean, like... I don't know what to think. Will Johnson works at Hans Liquors and says around 8.30 Thursday night, two men walked inside the store on Bel Air Road and walked out with the entire ATM. And he just grabbed it down, snatched the wires out, yeah, and ran out the door. The owner says the pair took off in a minivan with $1,000 in cash. I'm shocked. Just to, I don't know. What can I do? Hans Liquors wasn't the only victim that night. Down the street, Crosstown Discount Liquors says this man unsuccessfully tried to break into their ATM. And at Six Packs Liquor Store, employees confirmed they too were a target. That the same person attempted to take the ATM from his other store. And a fourth location, the New York Chicken and Grill on East Baltimore Street, where city police say earlier that day, two men in a Dodge Caravan attempted to steal their ATM. <coughs> For months, ATM smash and grabs have been plaguing the city. Okay, machine, I just buy to the six months old new one. Employees like Johnson say the trend is concerning. Coming in and take the ATM, that's crazy. Now, police say that they are investigating 21 incidents regarding ATM thefts. They have not said if all of these cases are related, but they did say that they are looking for two men who are driving a light blue Dodge Caravan with Maryland tags. They're asking if anybody has has any information to contact them. In Baltimore, Kelsey Kirshner, WJZ. Kelsey, great coverage. Thank you. And just into our newsroom, Baltimore City Police tell us there's been a total of 57 ATM-related thefts. That's just alone this year. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.